How's it going guys? My name is Zach with The Movie Castle and today we're going to be talking about an issue one of an all new Dark Horse horror book and that is uh, Lunar Lodge. And overall this is one that I heard the concept of and, and I was really interested where this is going and overall a, a solid first issue and I can't wait to see how the whole plot unfolds. Basically, this guy finds out his wife made a secret hotel reservation when she was supposed to be going on business, uh, and it's like a lodge in the middle of nowhere. So he follows her, thinking that she's having an affair, but it's not that, of course. The lodge is very, very strange, and there's something up with this small town. Now, horror fans can probably guess what's going on. The book itself doesn't tell you, so I'll respect that. I mean, it doesn't overtly try to act like it's a big mystery or anything, but if you're a, a fan of horror and you see this title, you can probably guess what the thing is with this book, and knowing that it's a special hotel, it, I think that's a, a pretty good idea. Like, in a world where this thing exists, you would have this type of hotel pop-up for this reason, and it's a very interesting concept, and this guy stumbling into it, trying to piece together the mystery, walking into a, what isn't supposed to be a trap for him, but will definitely turn into that, is a pretty solid concept. So yeah, I can't wait for more issues of this book, I can't wait to read the whole story and see how things go from here. But right off the bat, I do want to say Lunar Lodge number one, pretty fun, a pretty standard setting up your big pieces first issue with, you know, getting a lot of the, the main plot out. But I think this could turn into a really fun book for its genre. Gotta love the, the thing, but also gotta love hotels as well. Anyway, if you guys want to see this book in a little more specifics, I'm going to switch over to the close-up camera. I'll show you guys a little bit more of the story, a little bit more of the art. I'll try to be avoiding major spoilers, but this is an issue one that is mostly set up, so I do go a little farther than normal, but I'll try to avoid spoiling too much of it. So without further ado, let's go to the close-up camera. Alright, here we are inside the castle taking a closer look at Lunar Lodge. Right at the bat, I think the cover is a good enough composition, you know, full uh, full moon for Lunar Lodge and the guy and then this person, the background, the lodge. It, it's cool enough. It's so very gray, though, and even the red that they use is pretty muted. I worry how much this will stand out on the shelf. But anyway, Dark Horse, number one, three ninety nine, dollars eh, A fair price for books nowadays. Um... Symbols on the back, 00111. Anyway, if we crack the book open, we get to see the credits in full. And story by Tyler Merica, art and cover by Mirko Kol Kolak. Sorry if I mispronounced any of these names. But after that, we get into the story. I won't be doing any major spoilers, but I do want to show you guys some of the art and say my piece on a few plot points. But anyway, we open up with a bunch of dead bodies and some people waking up naked around them. Now, I do want to say I have to keep my thumb right here because every panel, they tend to hide the, the nudity in the shadows or putting some object in the foreground or cropping it out of frame like that except for this one nipple that's just randomly in there. So I'm like, is it censored or, or not? <laughs> I guess mostly. Uh, but anyway, we get to see La Locanda de Luna, which translates to the moon in. So what happened back here way back in time? A uh, little bit of a foreshadowing. We then cut to our main character, who is a veterinarian. He spends his day working with the dogs, and it's an okay job. You can tell he's a little stressed out, but the biggest thing is he's poor. He has a lot of stuff that's past due, and that's stressing him out. But what's worse 
is he gets a phone call and it's meant for his wife, because apparently they still have a landline, um, wanting to confirm her reservation at the Lunar Lodge. And he goes, my wife's supposed to be away on business, not a vacation. Where is she sneaking off to? Is she cheating on me? So that's going to be your main character's motivation. He's going to uh, sneak off to this Lunar Lodge place and tr poke around and try to find out what's up. And the guy at the desk goes, oh, we're book solid, sir, the, the full moon. And he's like, full moon, what? Oh, we have a lot of people that are very interested in astrology, and here's a good place to see it because less pollution. Okay, maybe. We also see this guy throw up, and he's like, oh, yeah, sorry, first time jitters. So there is something going on with this place. We also see the cop being very suspicious of this random person that just happens to be passing by so who is uh who is this cop what is he watching out for is this guy really just a stranger but of course you know that our main character isn't going to be dissuaded by that very much and he's going to try to sneak into the lunar lodge after dark and we'll see what he sees there later. I did skip over a few conversations, and I obviously won't show you any farther in the story than that. It, book one is a lot of setup, though, but it is really interesting to see where this is going and to see the character pulling through this mystery. And I think it is a really fun idea with this sort of hotel, but what's it up to? I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll leave a relevant playlist on the bottom. This should be uh, my issue number one's playlist. So if you want to see me talk about a bunch more uh, comics that I got right when they came out, you can see that right there. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.